Hello and welcome back for another episode. Today I take you guys along on a fishing trip in the north part of the Netherlands and try to fish for big Xander and big pike. Recently we had a lot of hard winds and a lot of rain so the, the water level is really high and really muddy. So it will be not easy but yeah hopefully we get one or two big fish in front of the camera to show you guys. So first fish of the day, nice sander, probably 60 centimeters. Came quite shallow, one and a half meters. We're fishing quite a big bait, 20 centimeter, but really bright color in this muddy water. A big bait quite often works really well because I can see it a lot better. That makes a lot more noise in the water. So yeah, happy with that. shows how quickly it can change. I fished for one and a half hour, no bites. Came to an, uh, my third spot for the day. I think second cast I had a small zander, 60 centimeters. And the cast after that immediately, this fish, exactly 90 centimeters. But look at how fat this fish is. Really, oh, what a beautiful fish. This beautiful fish, 91 centimeters. Quickly gonna release them. Yes. So I quickly want to talk you through the setup that I've been using today. The most important thing is a powerful rod. So I use the Yasai pike swim and soft bait it's a powerful rod up to 180 grams but you need that rod that rod in first place for be able to cast the big baits and in second place to set a hook because those big zanders have hard mounts and you need to set a hook properly to not lose them immediately 
Another important thing is a power for reel. In this case, I use a Tranks a 301 with 0 0.32 Power Pro line. The baits that I'm using for this style of fishing are mainly soft baits or hybrid baits, like with a soft tail and a hard uh, top end. Color wise, it's a bright green color or a darker color for the contrast. So, yeah, that's the baits that I use for this style of fishing. The reason that I use those big baits is for the vibration in the water. I want to make a lot of noise because in this muddy water the fish has a hard time seeing the bait. So yeah, you need a quite a big bait for the fish to be able to recognize that there is something what they can eat or what they think they can eat. So already the third one, like in 15 minutes, three bites, three beautiful fish, a 60, a 90 and now a 71. So yeah, beautiful fish, quickly gonna release them. So what I basically do down here, I cast towards a group of bait fish and what I try to imitate is that my uh, bait is coming in between the bait fish and swims out of the school of bait fish. And on the active target too, I can see that there is some bigger fish sitting around. I'm not specifically fishing for those single fish, but just casting the bait all the time in those schools of bait fish, pulling it out and then hopefully that one of the big predators that is around those schools of bait fish reacts to that bait. So it's the end of the afternoon, had a, just a quick session, three hours of fishing, but it was worth it. Had three really nice zanders, one really big one, 90 centimeters and really fat already. So yeah, really happy with it. I hope you like this movie and don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. Bye.